What do you do when you're just tired and weary? Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. <laughs> Scott and Tammy here. Merry Christmas. Do you know what the best gift you can get everyone on your list would be? What? A pony. No. Headband and fruit. Except for toddlers. They don't need that much caffeine. We're Metal We're Family .com. Little headbangers brewed this morning. And uh, you can get that. And I have a special <coughs> offer for Christmas. I know. As many of you know, I wrote this book called Metal Devo. It's a fairly thick book. And every single day has a, a, some, a, a quote from somebody in the metal community usually a band, and then a scripture, my commentary, and then things to think about at the end. And that's every single day, 365 days. And I would love to have you do this with me in 2022. Wow. And uh, they're just listed by days, not dates. And so if you miss a day or two, you just pick up where you left off and it'll last you as long as you need to. We have these in the store and I'll personally sign them and sign a little message to you if you let me know who you are. And uh, so if you go there, we are metalwearefamily.com. You'll see these and make sure that you let me know who to sign the book to. So dear Pastor Bob, what do you do when you get tired of life and it seems overwhelming? I'm not a quitter, but I'm weary and I feel like I just need a break. I'm sorry you're feeling that way, but I think all of us do from time to time. We feel like life is kind of coming down on us and we need a break. And can I say that 2021 has been a tough year? for most people. And I think all of us are kind of feeling like we need to have a little break, aren't we? We need to have a break before we break. <laughs> so why don't you turn with me to Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. And you're probably familiar with this and you may know where I'm going even before I say it. Because this is the scripture that comes to mind when we think of being weary. And he says, Jesus says, come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. Feeling better already, how about you? I know. I will cause, I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. Now, those three things are awesome. I will ease. Sometimes when things are overpowering, I will ease. I will relieve. I'll take that burden from you, relieve it from you, and refresh. You know, sometimes we just need a break. I want to do something today that isn't the normal day. I need refreshment. I need something that will get me going again and cause me to move on. And then he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest. You'll find relief and ease and refreshment and recreation, and blessed quiet for your souls. I like that part. Sometimes it seems like no matter what's going on around us, it's just too noisy inside of us. You'll find blessed quiet for your souls. For my yoke is wholesome 
It's good. It's useful. It's not harsh. It's not hard. It's not sharp or, or pressing, but it's comfortable. It's gracious. It's pleasant. And my burden is light and easy to bear. Well, there's the key. You know, a lot of times we just forget to plug in. We forget who our source of comfort is. And it's always going to be in the Lord. And sometimes, folks, we just need to pick up the Bible and read. Sometimes we just need that refreshment for our souls. Sometimes the answer is right there. And again, can I invite you to do this book with me? The Metal Devo. And uh, every day there's something for you to, to think about, something to read, something to refresh. And I have a commentary every day that I love you to be part of this. Metal Devo again, right here. We are metalwearefamily.com. You can get them at a reduced price and, and I'll sign it to you. And um, I'd love to have you do that with me. Well, folks, please don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.